Welcome again to Ride the Narrative, where it's okay to be curious. Like, share, and subscribe with that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. So, Jimmy Adams out, and it seems like Carl Hooper in. You remember when Jimmy Adams used to play cricket? The guy could bat for 10 days and make one run. Carl Hooper, on the other hand, would bat for maybe three days and make two runs. You know, those guys just bat forever. So flashy, so dashy, looking so good, making almost nothing. No, CWI announced red ball and white ball coaching and support staff for upcoming West Indies men's team. Imagine Jimmy Adams at the Crips. Then he got out and Carl Hooper coming in. But you have a superstar batsman already out there. But they just need a partner. You know, a superstar batsman like Brian Lara out there. Just need a partner to stay with them for the next five days. And then Carl Hooper comes out. Ooh, ooh. Imagine Carl Hooper, Shanda Paul, and Jimmy Adams coming out. Man, batting for days, scoring 15 runs. You remember those days? All right. Cricket West Indies on Thursday announced the members of the coaching and support staff for the West Indies men, red ball and white ball teams. Former West Indies captain Carl Hooper and Fly Reefer have been named assistant coaches in the white ball teams to work alongside head coach Darren Sammy. As I said, just imagine you have a superstar and then you get Carl Hooper on the other side. It's quite dependable. Not saying that Sammy's a superstar, but you get the picture. James Franklin, the, new, the former New Zealand all-rounder, the third assistant coach, they have joined the team ahead of the start of the upcoming three match one day international ODI series against the United Arab Emirates. Why, would, why couldn't it have been Brendan McCollum? You know, Brendan McCollum is the one that is coaching England right now, who have one of the most aggressive batting approach in T20. The, t the team that is scoring as much as 700 runs in a single test match. Let's keep it going. Speaking on the appointment. Sammy said, cricket is a team sport, therefore having the right set of people around you who shares your vision is extremely important. This is a group of hard-working, passionate men who have no egos. Our collective desire is to have a positive impact on the players and West Indies cricket. Now we're talking about no ego. Carl Hooper. He didn't care about scoring a lot of runs too fast. He was just out there to score and he played some very pretty shots. Hooper is one of the most successful all-rounder in West Indies history. The only player to score over 5,000 runs and take over 100 wickets in both tests and ODIs. He worked previously at various level of coaching in the Caribbean and Australia. Rifa also has experience across various levels from regional up to international. The former all-rounder from Guyana expressed his desire to see West Indies move forward. Hooper stated, when I was initially approached by Darren about the potential opportunity, I immediately confirmed my interest as I really want to help with the challenge and make a meaningful impact. I firmly believe that this is time for West Indies cricket to ascend and I am confident in my abilities, knowledge, and experience to aid in this endeavor. Not too long ago, Carl Opa said that West Indies had seen its worst days and worst days are ahead. Hopefully, being one of the men at the helm of the ship, he would be able to, to curve the blows that could be coming. For the West Indies, for the, for the test team, former West Indies player, Kenny Benjamin and Stuart Williams, as well as Raymond Griffith, will be the assistant coaches. Working alongside head coach Andre Coley, Benjamin and Griffiths were part of the coaching staff for the tour of Zimbabwe and South Africa earlier this year. While Williams has previously worked as assistant coach on various tours, Coley who took the team to Zimbabwe and South Africa earlier this year as head coach is confident that some continuity will be beneficial to the to the players stating we are looking for a much 
continue we're looking for as much continuity as possible in the preparation for the upcoming assignment kenny and rayan will continue their role as the previous two to tours Stuart Williams is currently with the A team in Bangladesh. It is a hard working group with clear tasks outlined, and we can effectively serve West Indies cricket in the upcoming series against India. Well, that's a good series for them to get their bearings going. This is a lot that these men have on their plate at this point, and this is a bunch of newcomers. What happened to the, pl the comers like Chandapal and those guys, Ambrose, those people who had an interest, a genuine interest. Give them a shot, give them a chance to see what they are really capable of, what is possible at this point. How much worse can the West Indies get? Think about it. Are we in an ascend or a descend or are we are just a flatlined and just continuously going in that flatline? We have to be honest here. Who can be, wor who is the worst coach that we could choose at this point? Is there any perfect coach that the West Indies could choose? Is there anybody that you know that, all right, this player, this coach would be exceptional for the job? There is absolutely no such coach because in order to remove all the possible bickering from the different regions in the Caribbean, it would be best to get an international coach that is not aligned to any little region. But that would signal the lack of cultural appreciation the lack of heritage, Caribbean heritage, and so on and so forth. But the West Indies, as it stands right now, would have picked an inexperienced coach, bypassing several coaches in the Caribbean to pick an, experience, an inexperienced coach. While one would say that all of these coaches are, are both inexperienced and experienced at the same time, some would argue that some are more experienced at being inexperienced you know what i mean like sammy is more experienced at being inexperienced while the most recently concluded cpl we saw where shiv and chandapal would have won a title and he would have been one of the hottest white ball coaches out of the caribbean right now why not give shiv and chandapal that position one could argue that the power is concentrated squarely in the windward and leeward island, um, island region there where a lot of power just lives and Sami would have been the golden boy out of that area and anything other than Sami could have been a problem and Sami could be the solution but Sami being the solution could also be the problem you get the drift West Indies is a problematic place for cricket at the moment because they are not winning, they don't have the correct fans and even the past legends, they still want to have a certain amount of relevance as we go forward. So yes, there you have it. West Indies finding problems in the solutions. So let's just hope that the West Indies team will bring home some victory and bring some solutions to the problems. Or this is a problem finding a solution west indies main white ball team management unit will consist of darren sammy carl hooper flight reefer james franklin ray ara lewis that's a team manager dennis bayam the psychotherapist ronald rogers strength and condition coach avish c therap analyst dario bartley media content officer a lot of these names i apologize ahead of time for butchering them i honestly didn't choose to be a butcher but it happens we do not pronounce a lot of our letters for the white ball for the for the red ball unit the test unit andre coley head coach kenny benjamin assistant coach raymond griffin griffith assistant coach stuart williams assistant coach Raul Lewis, team manager, Dennis Bayam, psychotherapist, and uh, it's the same from the white ball. The white ball and red ball teams, they share the same psychotherapist, strength and condition coach, analyst, and media and content officer. There you go. Let me know what you guys feel about the West Indies choices in recent times. I think that a few people from the Caribbean, they do not particularly appreciate the idea that 
Darren Sammy is the best coach for the job. While some people think that while he may not be the most technically savvy, may not have the results to show for it, he's a people person and the Caribbean need a person who can bring the people together. Some might just think that Jimmy Adams was it's like good riddance get rid of him really quickly he did nothing while well, something that he did a lot he did he created the academy which showed some results for the caribbean now the caribbean seems like they have a lot of top tier test players which would make it more challenging for the caribbean to find a team would make it easier but at the same time more challenging because we have more better players and more of those players are from regions where we would have preferred our better players to come from. So, you know, the infighting from the tests, from the fans will come into play. There's so much to be said about the West Indies at the moment, creating solutions and problems at the same time. Rewrite narrative, like, share, subscribe.